okay again question on uh, tanks let's see what is the question i think mixture and solutions there are two tanks a and b having kerosene and petrol in the ratio 4 is to 9 and 3 is to 8 respectively when 30 liter of petrol is added to tank a the ratio of kerosene to petrol becomes the same in both the tanks okay let's see let's start solving simultaneously what we are doing here right in a and in b right let's consider kerosene okay you are not adding a to b but a to some petrol okay let's see let's do it like this only you have a in a what is okay kerosene let's say or petrol you can take so what is petrol petrol is 9 out of 30 petrol is 9 out of the total 30 right and you are adding here you are adding here pure petrol that means you are adding 1 out of 1 petrol. So pure petrol you are adding. So you can write fraction is 1 out of 1. Okay. So when 30 liter of petrol is added to tank A, the ratio of kerosene to petrol becomes the same in both the tanks. Okay. So that means it becomes 3 to 8. Because kerosene and petrol is 3 to 8 in the second tank. So it should become 3 is to 8. That means petrol should become 8 out of 11. Right? Petrol is 8 out of 11 total. Right? So it will become the same ratio as of the second time. Right? So here if I take cross differences, I am applying allegation here. So 99, 13 into 804. So it is 5 divided by 13 into 11. Right? Here it is 11 minus 8, 3 by 11, right? So 11 cancelled. So it is 39 is to 5, right? So I am adding 39 is to 5, where 5 unit is given as 30 liters. So this was given 30 liter. So 5 into 6, so 39 into 6, it should be 234, right? So 234 liters was there in, in initially in tank A. Okay. How much kerosene must be added to tank A such that the concentration of kerosene in A becomes equal to the initial concentration of kerosene in A. Okay. So now, now you are saying that how much I should add it to get back the ratio. So we have 264 liter, right? How much? Uh, uh, you can calculate any one of them. Let's say kerosene. So 3 out of 11 is kerosene. Right? So this is my kerosene which is 11 into 2, 11 into 4. So 72 liter kerosene is there. Right? In this already. So what is the petrol part? Out of 264 if you remaining this, 192 liter is the petrol. Now petrol should be, right? Out of the total, petrol should be 9 out of 30. If I cancel with 3, it is 3 into 6, 4, so 3 and it will become 13 into 4, 52, 13, 6, 78 and 5, uh, 83 by 3. So this must be the total, right? This must be the new total. If the new total is this and the old total was 264, how much I need to add, right? So 832 minus 264 into 3, that is 78792 by 3, it is 40 by 3, right? So this is another method you can do, right? Whatever is petrol there, kerosene you are going to add, but whatever is petrol there, that must become, right, 9 by 13 of the total. The new total becomes 832 by 2 and the old total you know. So whatever you will be adding, you will be adding only kerosene. That will be 40 by 3.